love the Winter Olympics. They're <laughs> the my favorite. YouTube. Highly viewed, yeah. A lot of people love watching it. And, uh, of course, we're ready for a little of that colder weather. I know, but we've been so spoiled right now. Yeah, but the extended does offer some chilly conditions. Okay. More on that in just a moment. But right now, Harvey continues to spin. And moving away from our region, good riddance, Harvey. It can get on out of here as it continues to track to the northeast into the Mississippi Valley, away from us here in northeast Oklahoma. Outside right now, we have a few clouds. But a lot of people are sneezing and sniffling, yeah. including myself. Yeah, Thank Sharon, you. I yes. heard her sneezing earlier. Why? Well, the ragweed is extremely high right now, and that is the highest category we have in our allergy report. So ragweed suffers, beware, as we are dealing with a very high count, and it's going to continue. Not much relief until we see our first frost, which might be actually sooner than we could ever imagine. Now. I'm not predicting that in the next seven days, but I'm telling you, we're going to see a cooler than normal fall and potentially a colder than normal winter. Right now, it's 86 degrees. Northeast winds right now at 12 miles per hour. Dew point at 65, so that number continues to increase. That means it's just going to feel a lot muggier over the next several days. But if you're going outside this evening for any outdoor activities, maybe having dinner on the patio, Temperatures are going to generally be in the mid 80s at 7 o'clock by 9 in the upper 70s and then 10 o'clock when you're checking back in with us. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s. All right, you runners out there tomorrow morning. Really nice start to your day. Mid 60s at 7 a.m. Quick warm up though tomorrow already at lunchtime in the lower 80s by 4 o'clock 86 degrees. So a warm afternoon, plenty of sunshine, but still a northerly breeze about 10 to 15 miles per hour. The all important weekend just a few days away. Of course, a really special weekend because it is Labor Day weekend. Temperatures are going to be a little more seasonal for this time of year. Not as hot as we've seen in years past, but still a little warmer than what we've experienced over the past couple of days. We're expecting upper 80s to near 90 for your Saturday. South winds 5 to 10 on Sunday, 89 to near 90 degrees. Labor Day is going to be dry, plenty of sunshine. South winds at 10 miles per hour. Great Lake Day. Wonderful weather to maybe go to the pool one last weekend or go out to the lake because next weekend, the following weekend after Labor Day weekend, could be rather cool, and I'll show that to you. So we warm up Labor Day to near 90 degrees. Labor Day looks hot and humid, but then a big cool down heads our way, and the temperatures begin to drop down into the lower 80s on Wednesday. What? We could see lows by Wednesday night and a Thursday morning in the 40s and 50s. I just got goosebumps. 40s Shivering. and 50s this time of year. That's incredible. That's and that's going to happen by the end of next week.